Angus Cliff on anchor. He's owned or was owned by a man down in Florida. I would like to say that this tape, this videotape, was produced from an 8mm film uh, that was shot by Dr. Bill Miller of uh, Detroit, Michigan in 1978 or 1979 in Sturtevant, Wisconsin at Oakwood Kennels. Uh, Paul Hambach owns Oakwood Kennels. The man doing the agitation here is Fritz Bieler. Uh, this dog, Cliff, was the uh, national champion for USA uh, back in the 1970s in one year. Cliff at that time was owned by Jeff Golding. And was later sold to a man in Texas. The seminar that was taught was, unfortunately, no one had videos at that time. Uh, we were not get, able to get all the information on video. Here we have uh, Jeff Golding and Cliff with uh, Paul Hombach on the left with his hands uh, behind his back. This is uh, Fritz Bieler as a handler with his dog Dregen. Dregen is an animal about Antriftal's son, and Dregen was the German uh, Bundesliga in 1978. The uh, man on the left here is Garnat Rydell, who is a German SV judge. The Schutzen field at uh, Oakwood Kennels is a difficult field because there's trees uh, all over the field. Uh, the number four blind is a is a difficult blind because it's right up in the trees. And the dog just rounded the four blind.
This is not an actual trial. This is just a demonstration that Fritz put on for the people at the seminar in Granat. Although he's a judge, he's just acting as a judge. So it has a degree of realism for the dog. Unfortunately, uh, uh, because of the fact that this was 8 millimeter film, uh, Bill uh, did not film the whole seminar, and you'll find that there's points that have been cut out here. Uh, this is uh, Bernard Mantle with his back to us here. Here we have uh, Dregan going through a obedience routine with Bernard Mantle, who is also an SV judge, uh, scoring him. Uh, this routine uh, uh, for the demonstration was also scored as a, as a perfect 300. I was at this uh, seminar and uh, saw this demonstration and it was an excellent demonstration. It's really not possible to get the full impact of it on watching it on a on a video. The dog is an excellent, excellent working dog. This is the uh, uh, actual grounds that uh, competitors compete on when they go to Oakwood Kennels to compete for uh, Schutzen trials. And unfortunately, as you see, it's, <laughs> it is like the uh, Schutzen field that's in amongst the trees and uh, difficult to, uh, to get all the shots on. This is uh, Fritz working in a von Antriftal, the 1974 German Bundesliga. Uh, Fritz trained Enno. In addition, he trained uh, Dregen. Enno was an extremely hard, hard dog. He produced the uh, 1976 and the 1978 Bundesligas. As a demonstration at this seminar, unfortunately, we didn't get it on film. Uh, they wanted to demonstrate how a dog could take a man down uh, to the ground uh, in an escape. And uh, I was picked as the man, and they put a full body suit on me. And I weigh about 195 pounds, and I'm 6'2". And uh, Fritz told me to run away and do everything I could not to fall. And uh, I did just exactly that. As far as I was concerned, this dog was not going to take me down. 
Here's Fritz working the dog. Well, they let me get about 50 yards out into the field, and Fritz Sanano on me. He hit me right in the middle of the back, and there was no way in the world that you could keep your balance. Got me down on the ground and got a hold of my shoulder and just held on and looked me straight in the eye. He didn't try and bite me in the face, but he just looked me in the eye just to say, if you move, sucker, you're going to get it. And he just held me there until Fritz came up. This is Bob Hainis. Uh, he was on the video, so I left him on the video rather than cut him out. Bob is an AKC tracking judge. Uh, he's a police officer in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and a fairly active Schutzen trainer and competitor. Now, here's Enno doing a track with Paul Hombach as a handler. Unfortunate, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the 8mm camera here uh, was a little light sensitive. And it was an excellent tracking dog. I saw him track a number of times. In 98, 99, and hundreds were, were commonplace with him whenever he competed. Here we have Fritz with uh, Enno Andregan, Paula Marie Hambach. It's father, son. Dregan was a lighter dog. Uh, his progeny either came out light like himself or the black and reds like. Uh, like Enno was. Here we have uh, Fritz tracking a demonstration track for the uh, for the seminar with Bernard Mantle scoring and it was a perfect uh, 100 point track. This is uh, typical of the tracking terrain that uh, we have behind Oakwood Kennels in common to what you'll track in if you go there and compete in a, in a trial. Again, here's Fritz tracking uh, Dregan again. Notice that uh, when he tracks his dog uh, and the dog goes down on an article, uh, he's very methodical in the way he tracks. The dog, uh, he walks up to the dog, picks the article up, the dog remains in a down position and uh, uh, does not start the track again 
until Fritz tells the dog to sit, and then he tells the dog to track. In this way, he eliminates uh, false starts or sudden starts where he might lose a point. Very slow and methodical tracker. It was a fairly windy day this day. I can't remember just exactly how fast, but I do remember it was very windy. And at the end of the track, the dog gets a ball. And Fritz let him carry it around for, with him for the next 15 or 20 minutes. This is Paul Hambach and Eno Antrifthal with Jeff Golding and Cliff. Again, this is done on the Oakwood Kennels uh, obedience field. I'd have to mention that uh, even at this time, Eno was an older dog and was not an active competitor. And in my opinion, therefore, wasn't uh, performing at the level that, uh, that he obviously could have when he won the Bundesliga. Here again we have uh, Dregan performing with uh, Fritz Bieler. Fritz is one of the best handlers in the world and it's obvious uh, when you see him compete that there's uh, really few little tricks that uh, that he doesn't know. Just an excellent, excellent handler.
You can see the dogs that are not familiar with this uh, with this field can have problems with the trees. This is a young dog that was just uh, in the trial. I believe this is Eno. As I said before, he's he's an old dog even at this point. And This is Mike Trotsky, who's not currently uh, involved in Schutzen, but was excellent agitator in his time, very fast, usually very safe with dogs. Enel scored a 99 on that exercise. The judge took away a point for running the blind slow, but he also gave the dog credit for the fact that he was an old dog. Here we have Dregan. Dregan and Fritz. We'll get the whole protection routine here with the exception that we missed the last part of the courage test, unfortunately. Uh, Bill Miller ran out of eight millimeter film just as uh, just as the dog finished the uh, courage test, uh, and this was a hundred point routine. I have to say that in all the years that I've been going to uh, Schutzen seminars with uh, Germans that have come over to hold their seminars, this is the uh, only time that I've ever seen uh, one of these people bring their 
competition dogs with them. It's unfortunate that uh, at this time we didn't have uh, videos. This is uh, Fritz Beter, Beeler in Salzburg, Austria with a Dregon son, a dog nom named uh, Clodo Wasserand. Uh, so here again we have uh, a third generation Enno dog. Uh, this is uh, obedience exercise for the 1982 uh, SV Europa Meisterchef that was held in Salzburg. Clodo was an extremely hard dog, uh, but he wasn't as good of a working dog as, uh, as his father was. Fritz has put on a few pounds in the intervening four or five years. But he's still an excellent, excellent handler. <laughs> I'm going to disconnect this microphone now. You're going to see Fritz uh, go through this obedience uh, routine with Clodo, and then you'll see uh, uh, Fritz working Clodo in the 1982 uh, Europameisterschaft protection. Uh, and uh, then again, you will see him work uh, Clodo in the 1982 SV Bundesliger in both uh, obedience and protection. And there'll be sound on here so you can hear the commands. A bit, if I may. Page Uh, before I disconnect, though, I'd like to mention that uh, uh, this dog scored uh, 97 in tracking in this trial. This was a 99 obedience exercise, and he later scores uh, 97 points in protection. Uh, in the Bundesliga, uh, in the films that you're going to see, uh, he came in second place in 1982. Uh, he came in third place in 1981. He was in two years in a row. But in the films that you're going to see for the Bundesliga for his second place finish, he scored 100 in tracking. Fortunately, we don't have the tracking on video. Uh, but he does score uh, 97 points in uh, obedience work and 99 points in uh, protection work in the Bundesliga for a total of 296. In the Meisterschef here, he scored uh, 293. I'd like to also mention that uh, Fritz Bieler uh, to date has, uh, to my knowledge, he's the only man that has ever trained uh, three Bundesligers uh, in 1970. He won uh, the Bundesliga uh, 
uh, with a dog named Drago uh, with a score of 295. Uh, Drago was an unregistered dog, but most of the time that just means that uh, there was more than six puppies in that litter, and unfortunately they did not register. Uh, they can only register six puppies out of a litter in Germany without having a foster dam raise the the puppies so that the seventh or eighth puppy, if they're not killed uh, or called, don't get registered. And unfortunately, that dog uh, was not registered. Then in 1974, Fritz trained uh, Enno Antrifthal. And in uh, 1978, uh, he trained Dregan. And unfortunately, came very close with this dog, with a number two uh, or a number three finish in 1981 and a number two finish in uh, 1982. Up in your labor and in your leisure.
This dog is uh, belongs to Bill Cree, and you're seeing the protection work that Bill and Panzer did in the 1982 Europa Meisterschaft in Salzburg, Austria. Uh, I believe Bill scored a 98. This dog is an Anoantrophtal son. And then uh, the dog after this, and we only got a part of it on the videotape uh, because it was the end of the tape, it was Jerry Slavens uh, and his dog. Uh, and that dog was a uh, Dregan son. Uh, Jerry, uh, I believe, flunked protection because uh, the dog would not out.